Good day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel. Guess what I got down to the markets today? For five dollars I picked up this neat looking Cosigner Super 8 camera. This is a Cosigner model 738 High Deluxe. Looking it up on the internet, this camera was um, made around 1975, 1976. Looks about that vintage anyway, judging by its appearance. It's quite a neat little camera. Um, and um, it is working too, um, well up to a point anyhow. Uh, I put some batteries in. I put you know, the button batteries in the bottom there for the light meter and batteries in for the motor. And the motor batteries come up good. The light meter batteries come up good. Mechanically this camera does function. As you can hear, the motor is rotating, which rotates the Super 8 film cartridge. However, the problem is the light meter is not working. As you can see, the meter is broken off. I'm trying to get the camera lens in there. You can see it's two. The, the uh, light meter is broken off and hanging to the left hand side inside the viewfinder which um, poses a problem. I reckon um, I'm not sure whether the automatic light um, iris would be working properly when I go around filming stuff on it um, and I would not be certain of what exposure I'd be having this camera at when I adjust the manual iris control. So yeah that's a bit of a ho-hum. Hopefully there'll be a way I can fix it because I'd love to use this camera. I mean, it's mechanically sound from what I can, I can hear. Anyway, um, talking a bit about the specs of this camera. Um, this camera is different from the Canon 518 camera in terms of features. It has a speed setting of, uh, of 18 frames a second or 24 frames a second which is standard speed for uh, for feature films played in the cinemas which is a good which is really cool because you can make feature you can make um, your home movies at feature film speed and of course it's got its um, indoor and outdoor light setting and you got your over and, ex and under exposure setting um, I'm I'm not sure about this opposed to the uh, iris control. I mean, I'm, I need to get a manual to work out whether this also tweaks the exposure controls. I'm not even sure if it is an exposure control. But anyway, um, moving on, um, there you'll see the... the uh, cartridge motor rotating and on here you've got the uh, level meter for how many feet of film you've got left to use or how many's been used up whichever way it goes you've got a fader control to fade your films as seen you've got your battery light meters for both the motor and the electronic eye and you've got a backlight button there which I guess is to put backlight in for, I don't know, extra exposure I suppose, not sure, and you've got your zoom control, your focus control, the zoom control, that is pretty tight, I had to undo it, I had to literally unscrew this lens system to be able to get it to move nice and freely, I put a bit of machine oil in there to hopefully lubricate it a bit, yeah, it's still pretty tight. I mean, it works, but it's just pretty damn tight. Anyway, uh, the film cartridge is loaded into the back of it instead of the the uh, right side like the Canon 518. Um, here you unclip it and open it up that way. And there you got there you insert your cartridge. There's your your um, shutter where you, where the uh, film gets exposed so I'll try and see if I can try and focus it 
And as you'll see, that's where the film was exposed. There is where the the uh, seatbelt rotates. Yeah, that's all working nice and soundly. Just to be unsure about the exposure, seeing that the the meter's broken. A bit of a drag, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to fix it somehow. But yeah, this is overall a great score for me. Only five dollars at the markets. Not bad, eh? Oh yeah, at the front you've got your you've got your trigger lock. When you set to R, you, you can use it. When you set to L, you, it locks it. Uh, not sure what these two sockets at the front do. It's one says C and one says S. I have to get a manual for this to work it out. I think it's probably probably for sound. Um, yeah, there is a what looks to be a microphone jack for sound. The thing with any thing is with sound films, you got they're actually the, the cartridge size is actually bigger so they wouldn't exactly fit inside the back here so yeah I'm a bit uncertain where you, you can put an audio um, recorder set up separately attach it to it or whatever personally I just record the sound separately to an audio device and marry the two together when I make me Super 8 films anyway um, lastly this is the case that came in nice velvety red interior Nice and cl relatively clean too. Anyway, that's about it. Before I finish off the video, um, yeah, I forgot to show you what's at the top. At the top here, you got you've you've got your um, zoom controls for electronic push button zoom. Try and focus this properly. So one's for widening and one's for tele zoom. And uh, yeah, that's of course the button to open the, the slide to open the film cartridge unit. This uh, this says fasten here. I'm not sure what that does. Oh, hit the trigger. <laughs> I want to see if this electronic zoom works. I haven't actually tried it out yet. Um, yeah, it doesn't work. Oh, well, just have to go manual with this if I use it. And I think that um, that on top is to rig up a microphone socket thingy or whatever you call it, call it. Um, anyhow well that's about it hope you enjoyed this video this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel signing out